Hello everybody, welcome to Praline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The artist I'm presenting you today is Barbara Namat, born in Milan in 1967. Her parents belonged to the Hebrew community in Egypt, but they had to abandon Cairo in 1952 after the anti-monarchical coup d'etat. They chose Italy as destination, whereas the other members of the numerous family have scattered all over the world. Therefore, to Barbara, it doesn't exist a land of origin to identify herself with. Right at the beginning, she feels the necessity to look for the roots of her identity elsewhere. It's so essential to her to feel integrated in the Hebrew community that, not even reaching 20 years old, she decides to go to Israel to work for a kibbutz, an agricultural cooperative of socialist style. Back to Italy, she gets a diploma in scenography at Brera Academy and enters the working world. She takes part in the realization of television programs, collaborates with the Theatre Franco Parent in Milan, designs costumes for the opera The Turk in Italy by Ciocchino Rossini. Contemporarily, she is commissioned to realize a series of illustrations for a medical magazine. It's through this experience that she finally gets success in painting an artistic expression that, from the second part of the 20th century, has been leaving a moment of fertile creativity thanks to the support of critics such as Luca Beatrice, Alberto Fitz, Alessandro Riva, Maurizio Chacaluga. The first subject Barbara Namat wants to deal with is her body itself, which is first photographed, then painted on canvas. Later on, she approaches the world of pornography, not the one in slick magazines, but the one in magazines of commercial advertisement, an unlimited source of models to reproduce. The thing that attracts her is the showing off of the body of daily life. Far from aesthetic standards of publicity, a body that, even though willing to interpret an improbable eroticism, reveals inadequate and imperfect traits. It's easy to notice the contiguity between Barbara Namat's work and Lucian Freud's, even if the visage in her paintings is often unseen. Her solo exhibition at Canaviello's gallery in 2000 marks her consecration. She is invited to participate in important shows. Her name appears in prestigious catalogue together with art of international fame. But her approach to reality takes on a sudden change after the attack at the Twin Towers in New York in 2001. Barbara Namat realizes that underneath that catastrophe, there is not only one nation. There is the entire Western civilization that is the embodiment of the American culture. A culture the Hebrew community has contributed in a decisive way to build up. If a certain idea of the world and of daily life was represented through the images of nudes, she now feels obliged to take into consideration history to which art must bear witness. The result of these reflections is the realization of a series of paintings having as subjects a kind of pattern of personages that have contributed to set up the collective imagery of the Western society, divine guardians of a world that is threatened in its survival under various aspects. These works were presented in an exhibition curated by Vittoria Cohen at Ermano Tedeschi's gallery. The show was an titled Canto General, taken from the title of a famous book of the poet Pablo Neruda. Moreover, inspired by Anna Arendt's text on violence, Barbara Namat produces a work named Tables of the Protest, made up of 40 panels representing manifestations in different epochs and in different cities of the world. And to render the work more true, she also makes use of the sound document of the epoch. One of her recent series is entitled Breathless. This title is taken from a famous film of Jean-Luc Godard, but she alludes to the dominant theme of the series, The Kiss. This series deals with well-known kisses from images of show business and of chronicles. They are not only kisses of passion, but also kisses of desperation and kisses of political reconcilement. Finally, looking for famous kisses in art history for a Milanese as Barbara Nama, she couldn't overlook the kiss of highest. The work I present you today deals with a photogram from Breakfast at Tiffany's, 
a famous film that has seen the consecration of the extraordinary Audrey Hepburn. Typical of her technique is the use of void for figures and enamel for the background. This technique gives her works a certain propeller. But to Barbara Namath, the kiss is something more than a simple exchange of effusions. Is the characteristic of our civilization, the symbol of a word she identifies herself with. It's a word she wants to bear witness to. It's a word that gets ready to be the protagonist for her upcoming paintings that will certainly be rich of poetry. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Praline's Deliciousness from the World of Art.